Uh, I'm joined here by a uh, legendary concertina player, Noel Hill. Noel, thanks for joining, joining me. How are you getting the flair, Noel? Oh, very good, very good. I'm just back from America for the flair. I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't be back uh, only for uh, the flares on Ennis, and this is my own town. Yeah. Or my own backyard, we'll say. I'm not from Ennis, but I'm from well, Ennis. Casey Man, didn't you? Casey Man, so. Yeah. But, uh, you know, normally I wouldn't be back from America because I'm in America each year until the end of August, but delighted to come home for the flare. Yeah. I did last year, I will, you know, and this year, and yeah. I would any time. Yeah. Support just my own. Just, my just own people. to go back and support your own people. Absolutely, exactly. I'm, delighted. Exactly. I'm delighted for the county. Yeah, uh, it's great for Clare. You started off here uh, in, in County Clare, as you, as you say, and there was Torval and Dean. There was all these couples, but Noel Hill and Tony and Tony and Anne yeah. were really synonymous names in Irish music. 1970, 1978, Tony and Anne and myself recorded. Now that's that'll be forty years next year. Um, yeah. yeah. You know, it just goes to show how long ago it was. Yeah, now, it was died 40 years ago. I was a teenager yeah. at that time, you know, yes. Tony Vanan was about 20 at the time. Yeah. But it just goes to show uh, the passage of time. And it's still, people still listen to that record. Oh, absolutely. It, it's, 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 the people are still it listening to it. It has stood the test of time. Well, people are still listening to it. It's great. Yeah. You know? yeah. So, and I saw it recently in a in a shop in Galway. Is that right, yeah? yeah. It's still, it's still yeah. there, yeah. Yeah. It, it was one for all time, of course. And uh, so, uh, do, you, do you tour a lot now, Noel? Well, not that much, but I do go to America every summer. Oh, I do the Willie Clancy Summer School, and yes. after that, I head to America. Uh, America is uh, this time of the year is, a lo is nice and warm, and I, I have a lot of stuff. I suffer a lot from pain, and the yes. warmer climate when I'm playing helps me. You it know, helps, yeah, rather yeah. Rather than like this climate, so yeah. it, it does. It's easier for me. Yeah, it's yeah. It's easier for me to play a full match than to be. Uh, you know. Yeah, and you fit in there nicely when you go back there. You could just uh, you could just slot in there for Absolutely, but I, I I definitely notice the difference yeah. in the, the warm uh, climate. I notice I yeah. notice in my system, so it's easier for yeah. me to play. Normally now here, <coughs> I you know I I go the full match, but I pay the price afterwards. You know. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like Sean McMahon, you know, the broken shoulder. I know you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you you picked up a few injuries. I'll still uh, try and go play full. Yeah. Full concert, you know? Yeah. Back in the 70s, the All Ireland Flair was here, and when you started out, and that was around that time or, or, or soon after. What's the difference between then and now, who say, all these years later? Everything is different. Is it? Uh, the, the life is totally different. Yeah. I mean, when, you, when I was br uh, brought up in the 70s, you know, people, life was so simple, and people were. Well, didn't have much that time, you know. Yeah. Uh, there was none of the technology. No broadband, no. no. Uh, yeah. I mean, suddenly every now and again a car would pass our our uh, avenue, you know. Yeah. At home. Uh, now it's, it's a constant line of the traffic. Constant line of traffic. And <laughs> technology and phones and all that. Yeah. So we didn't have a television in the house until I was yeah. well into my teenage years. So all of that, the the life around music yeah. was different. Because Do you think the music has changed in? No, 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 you know, the, the base root of the music is still, still is, yeah. the same, you know. It's, yeah. uh, and there are young, great young players today who uh, can see all the, the glamour and all the, the glitz of the, the big, the, the big uh, spectacular shows and all that. Yes. But there, there, there's, there's a whole batch of great players who, who can see through that and go right back to the... To the to the soul of the music, I suppose. That, yeah. that right down to the roots of the music that, that were so finely uh, honed over the years, like the Tommy Potts, and, you know, Bobby Casey, Willie Clancy, yeah. Stuart Dennis, the Doherty's, the Patrick O'Keefe. Yeah. Like these were giants. Absolutely, and yeah. There are young people, I just saw Liam O'Connor a while finally there a minute right. ago. He is deeply uh, rooted in the music of. Uh, of the people, which are the, the Connors, and the, he has Claire connections with the Steiners. That's right, yeah. And I mean, he's an, an example of the, the young generation who are advancing this music yeah. beyond all bounds. And that, that's really encouraging. Yeah, it is. Uh, and yeah. along with that, then, as I say, life has changed, and you'd always have, uh, you know, you'd have all the, the glitz and all the, the high powered yeah. um, shows. And that is modern yeah. life. Yeah, yeah. There's there's no li there was no, yeah. there was no high power shows in St. No. Mary's Hall, Mr. Casey, when I was growing up. No. <laughs> the pure <laughs> drop, and, and I suppose a few shows like that, which were great shows for, for their time. 
Do you ever feel like leaving the concertina down and going away from for a while, or do you constantly have to play as a musician? Well, the call is the call for music is always there, but I certainly leave it down. Yeah. And maybe a bit more than I should. <laughs> yeah. I do leave it down. Yeah. And, uh, what does a musician do when he puts away his musical instrument? To... Well, I I might not be playing, but the music is it's it's still all going the time around the head, yeah. head. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm always listening and practicing music in my head. And it's then as a matter of when time comes, I have the concertina that I'm working out what I like every other musician. Yeah. That's we that's what we do. Yeah. You know, we we uh, practice this music uh, and we listen to it carefully. We try and find an angle on it uh, in it and, and a flight path into it. Whatever, whatever particular tune it is, you you go at it. You put your own uh, mark in it. Hopefully, yeah. you'll carry with it uh, with uh, from the generations that have gone before uh, you'll carry respect for all of that and then you'll put your own, own mark on that yeah. and uh, project it into the next generation and that's yeah the, that's the way it well, is you know but we we, we, we we take it seriously you know? we, i we hear i hear a lot of young people especially young players now concertina they want to put the noel hill mark on it they want they, uh, they're, they're, they're they're talking about your music well i mean i, I suppose that they see me as a, an older generation now but uh, it, it's their music that they want to emulate, that they want to play. Yeah, well, so that, that, I'm, 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 that's very humbling. Uh, I do know a lot of, I teach a lot of students. Yes. I teach students in Ennis every, uh, I come down to St. Flannan's College. Yes. And I teach in St. Flannan's and I have some yeah. marvellous young players. Yeah. All from West Clare and from East Clare, and, and Limerick, a... Kerry, Cork. They come for St. Flannan's here in Ennis, yes. which is my old... Uh, Alma Mater, that's and of course I you have a, myself. you have Brenda Burglar in there now, another, yes, another great musician. Uh, so I, I'm dealing with young people all the time, yeah. and it's very, uh, I mean, it's it's great that they listen to me uh, and that they have regard for whatever little bit I have done for my chosen instrument that they yeah, yeah. actually have an appreciation of it yeah. and what I've done, and uh, I just want to see them just to, to, to bring on, it along so as it's here. And the next generation as the old people give it to me, you know. Exactly. So it's here again when the flare comes back to us whenever it does in well, the I future. Well, I hope it won't take us long. Hopefully not. It took a long time, yeah. It took too long. Yeah, too long. Because this right, county so. has given to traditional Irish music. Yes. You know yeah. what, what traditional Irish music has given to this county and vice versa. Yes. And what traditional Irish music has given to this country. It really has yes, been. Yeah, absolutely. It has never been appreciated by Ireland. Yeah. What? Uh, Irish traditional music, uh, in all its manifestations, has been for this country. It's yeah. amazing. It's the greatest ambassador. Yeah. Of and it has kept the diaspora together all throughout it the world. Has, and it's brought people from every corner of the world. For this yeah. this week, people from every corner of this globe are here because of one thing: traditional yeah. Irish yeah, music, music. In all, as I say, its manifestations, yeah. whether it be singing or dancing or whatever, mainly the instrument of music. Yeah. No, you're going to be going to sail in a few minutes, so I'll let you go. Sorry, I didn't realize.